Hey guys, uh, P Money and Ram here playing Mass Effect Andromeda. I am a big fan of the Mass Effect series. P Money, or Pages, or government name is. Oh, sorry, P Money. Do not say that word. P Money. No. Government. No. Name. No. My name. My name. Don't ever say my name. Mm-hmm. Got. It. Uh, she has never played Mass Effect. Nor knows probably anything about it, correct? I've never seen it played or anything. I don't okay. even know what's it about. You make your own character? We are going to customize. Yeah, that's always been a big thing about the series. Be a girl. Why? Because I'm a girl. But I'm not a girl. But I am. I'm a guy. We're going to be a guy. <laughs> Wide. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a balloon face. Uh, high brows. I think he goes from angry to okay to ooh. No, I like low brows better. Low brows? He's always angry? Yeah. And really big brows, like make him poke out a bunch. Yeah. Somebody hit him in the side of the head with a grate or something. All the way intense, definitely. Yeah. Looks like he got ran over by, by a tire. It's a little too ugly. I'm afraid of, oh, confirm. Oh my god. Oh, you have to do, you have to do your girl. You should make her ugly too. Make her ugly. Okay. You want to customize? Yeah, do custom. Oh, that's like a female mullet. Go with the mullet. The mullet. It's the ugliest, yeah. This one? Yeah. It's not really a female mullet. She's got long hair. Oh, well, like... it's about the ugliest though. That, that this one? That one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Alright, what color? And pink, definitely. No, 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 blue, 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 blue. Won't match your hair at all. There you go. How's that? Good. Nice and ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this game. Huh? I'm gonna hate this game. Why? <laughs> You're the one that said make them ugly. I know, I did, didn't I? Alright, let's... Whoop. Let's get this game going. Do normal difficulty. Uh, yes, confirm. I really want to replay these games. They're pretty good up until the the ending of the last one, the third one. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are all of us leaving behind families, home. The very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream. It looks like they rebuilt the relays, or is that a... That's what it looks like. So is this in the Andromeda Galaxy? I guess. Don't ruin the game for me. Spoiler alert. <laughs> We've been in the Andromeda Galaxy the whole time. What? What? Huh. Oh, you're just joking. Yes. 500 years later. 634. I knew it was 34, but... Get some glasses. Nope. Twenty thousand people on that ship. I 
Yeah, you're right. Andromeda Galaxy. <laughs> Whoa. Are you playing already? Guess we'll find out. No, this, I mean, this is still like cinematic. Has this been remote piloted or have there been like generations of people piloting the ship? You know as much as I do right now. <sighs> All three other games entailed around one commander. This man? No. Let's get you checked out. Look here. This is always in the other games you could kind of choose. Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Worth being down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your sound implants. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Picard. Good morning, Roger. Are you feeling well? My implants? Huh? Yes. Ah, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implants? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope you pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, a demo what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to be a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa. Well, my sister. My sister. Is she dying? I don't know. Have to check it out. 
guess we'll find out. Oh. Why? Scott, is my sister okay? Sarah is fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When did you wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse respiration and brain activity are normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Glad to hear it. So much shit to explore. That is one thing I kind of didn't like about some of these games, is that there was too much. Like, what is the point of all this? You know what I mean? Like being able to run all the way down there, but there's nothing I can interact with, nothing I, no one I can talk to. So all these people just say like stupid stuff. Yeah, basically. And see, with the other games, you you the guy that flew your ship. I think it was actually Scott um, Scott Seth Green. Is that a real person? Yeah, the the guy that does like you Family Guy. Yeah. The guy that does Chris's voice. I know who Seth Green is. Are you right? Is that a real person? I said, isn't that a real person? Because I was making sure, like, like I knew who it was. I thought you were talking about, like, that Press was a video to game. to open your... Oh. thought you were saying that was a video game character. Oh, I need to come down here, I guess? Can I reset it? Maybe. Why is all the writing so tiny? I don't know. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Yeah, we can get to the tram. Blank. There. Anything down in here I can scan? I can scan you? You? Event track. Where? Oh no, that's a box. I thought that was one of those cryo. <laughs> that was like a. That was one of those cryopods. You're a cryopod. Yes, take us to the the, the captain area. The bridge. The bridge. 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 I think we're saying the same thing. <laughs> Probably. God, he's ugly. I wonder if your dad's as ugly as you are. They said you were going to see your dad. First priority. What are we even going through? Is this like a... This is like a Norris Electrified Dust Ball. Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust to sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. You know, he does kind of look... Look at his, his eyebrows. His eyes are yellow, too, and his skin color is the same. I wonder if they model him after what you and... What you look like. Uh, I prefer solid ground. My father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah. Pretty good isn't good enough. 
Yes, sir. See, he's got the yellow eyes, too. <laughs> and the ugly ass face. My God. Is that our goal in the world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. What does that sound the right? It looks... It looks bad. We don't know how bad it is here. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our sensors. Planetary conditions are not there. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out, it stays out. We need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. Alright, let's make it quick. God, that must suck to be... The rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Find it following third. Yes, sir. You know, like you go on this embarkment a stubborn one, isn't he? to find a new world, and then like, what if that one's uninhabitable? So they have to—that's their job—is to find another place that could be habitable, and you can't. Mm -hmm. So then you're just kind of adrift out in space. Give him a chance. Oh yeah, we're gonna give him he a chance. He cares in his own way, enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our pathfinder. Ugh. If this doesn't work out, I can barely look at you. We'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. <laughs> it's God. so wet. Stop. <clears throat> His silhouette is literally like just eyebrow and chin. No. I will say Mass Effect 1 and 2 were funnier. With the characters. How bad you can make the characters. Couldn't wait to get started. Well... Don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her son. Right. You'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting the helmet. <laughs> to go to space? Well, yeah. And also to cover up my hideous... That's great, field manual. Hey Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. I'm not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You not seen anything about what's going on? Sensors are what? Scrambled. Hey, phone thirty. It was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? We'll do. See you guys in the ride down. Don't let the fun of the past push this awkward ride right into the hangar. Got it. The Pathfinder is now requiring Sargons, either from beyond the Mitzvah Cup. We expect it. Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. Don't believe him. I don't know what that's about. So, no one overheard you say you preferred solid ground. Another rumor. Glad Dunn came around. <laughs> Your dad's the N7 here. He's got the most experience. Those lips. And the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Oh, <laughs> nice. How do I... It says hold the, like, select, maybe, to holster. Little two little boxes that are next to each other. Okay. Select. The current. Sure. I think that's select. Yeah. You think that's so We stand and drop. Oh, is there just another boring day at the office, huh? 
But if it was, this wouldn't be any fun. I can't wait to find out what's down there. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. Here be dragons. Or maybe see a dragon along the way. <laughs> Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the show. <laughs> On that note, uh, see ya. I bet you're right. I bet they do use kind of like you partial okay, team, listen up. things you used mm -hmm. to model. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. And we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Thank mm -hmm. you. 